Yo guys, welcome back to another weekly croc vlog. I don't know if that name is gonna stick. We'll see. I don't know. I don't even know if this behavior of weekly vlogs is gonna stick, but I'm gonna roll with it uh, whilst it's lasting. But so if you are enjoying them and you're enjoying seeing a bit more of my day-to-day -day life and everything that's going on, um, then please give this video lots of love, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm very excited because it is the last day of the month of September right now. And September has probably been the most craziest, toughest month of the year for me so far. Incredible stuff going on, but so much travel, lots been going on. I, I'm now home for two weeks before um, I have a retreat in Ibiza for one week long, which means I have two weeks of getting back to routine. My CrocFit, GymFit2 training is going to be my priority. Eating well, getting my physique back on top form recovery, getting the sleep, all of the lovely routine things that we love. Um, I'm starting off with a very classic breakfast of mine, which is four eggs, an avocado, we've got some cayenne pepper in there, some spinach. Typically for breakfast, um, I, I like a high protein, high fat breakfast and low carb. And then I normally train and then feed in lots of carbs later on. This morning I was 79.9 kilograms, which, which is probably the heaviest I've been, focus, focus, probably the heaviest I've been this year. It was a bit of a shock to me. Um, the past month of training has been really focused on performance and strength over being lean and shredded. So I'm so motivated this week and the next couple of weeks to drop the weight down, get rid of some body fat whilst maintaining or hopefully growing some muscle. Good nutrition is absolutely essential in the next couple of weeks, as well as cardio and weightlifting at the same time. The great thing about being a bit heavier than norm um, the initial weight loss should be quite quick. So I'll keep you updated through the week uh, what the scales are saying and hopefully what I look like as well. It's 1.30 1 p.m. at the gym. It's probably around my my favorite time to train of the day, early afternoon, because it gives me a few hours in the morning to knock off the, the emails, the DMs, some important um, parts of the to-do list. So then when I hit the gym, I can have like a free mind and work hard. Could have sneezed. <coughs> I think I'm allergic to my pre-workout. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but that was weird. I don't know where that came from. But anyway, like I said, I'm getting back into my Gym Fit 2 plan. So this is where I finished off about a month ago. Where am I? This cycle, let's get croc fit. Session 43, it is like a legs posterior day. So it's got deadlifts, glute bridge and cowbell swings, etc. So let's get started with that. Today's workout was like a legs posterior chain workout, so great for glutes, hamstrings, lower back, and the whole of this month has been quite a lot of CrossFit type Metcon stuff, which has re-motivated me to train a bit like that, so I'm adding on at least a few Metcon type CrossFit workouts at the end of these workouts as well. Great for fitness, functional fitness as well as fat burn as well. <laughs> Just smashed out a solid, solid few hours work. Man, I need a shave, look at that. Uh, solid few hours of work, but I'm really trying to be strict with my cutoff time in the evening. Like, when you work for yourself, building a business, and uh, the list, the list goes on and on, and you could just keep on working, or I could just keep on working. So much of it is enjoyable, it's editing, it's working on my business. So I'm being strict with cutting off my time around nine o'clock, which means that I can start winding down, maybe have a shower and then be in bed by 9.30 and start reading and having a good quality sleep. Sleep is so important. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram and other places, but I talk a lot about sleep for recovery of the body and the mind and for just generally being healthy and performing at your best. So that's what I'm trying to prioritize. Happy Tuesday, guys. So as expected, I lost a little bit of weight, not much, but about 400 grams, so from 99, 
No, 99? Oh my god, no way! 79.9 to 79.5, so about 400 grams. Um, I had about 2,300 calories yesterday, um, and I'll probably, the whole of this week, try to maintain around 2,200, 2,400, which is quite a heavy deficit, especially if I'm training every day, but the priority is when you're in a deficit like that and you want to continue growing muscle, or at least maintaining muscle is to have one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I'm about 175, 180 pounds, or you know, you should really calculate it with your lean mass. So I'm probably about 170 pounds lean mass. Um, so I've got to have at least 170 grams of protein. And this is the thing that so many people miss out on in their general diet, but especially if they're in a calorie deficit and they're still weightlifting. So if you guys on my training programs, home fit or gym fit or she fit, you have to be prioritizing good quality protein and get the protein up because it's gonna help with growing muscle, being lean and helping burn body fat. So that's top of my priority list now. Anyway, enjoying my fasted morning walk go back and have some breakfast. Every morning I try to either do some stretching or some massage or recently I've been getting on the the massage gun hype. This is from Every Fun and obviously just what you want to do is find the sore points and massage it out and you've seen a lot of guns at the moment people are using lots I find it really useful to work out some sore muscle tissue some knots uh, you can use a foam roller and stuff like that I've done that for years and years um, but I've I've left the information about every fun who have kindly gifted me this gun in my description underneath so go check them out my hamstrings are sore from yesterday but today is chest day <laughs> London meeting it takes me about 35 40 minutes to get into central London I've got three meetings one podcast and an evening dinner meeting sounds quite nice no echo just strong yeah okay so this is probably the most exciting part of my day I'm here with Lawrence for fit sake make sure you follow him if you're not already Hold everybody out for us. We're locked Thank in, you. there's no escape. <laughs> and uh, we're forming a podcast, he's launching a new podcast, and it's actually quite a unique one, one in which I haven't heard or seen before, which is walking as you record. And we would be outside in nature having a real walk, um, but classic London, can't, can't really prepare for the weather, it's raining too much, you can't really record in the rain. So we're gonna walk around the studio, but the ironic thing is, is that we are out in nature. This is a great studio and we're in the woods. I um, painted a wood for you. <laughs> just for today, because just you can't trust the weather. Authentic. <laughs> so authentic. So um, we're gonna get recording now some deep and personal great questions. Let's hope, we'll see, you know, no pressure on the questioner or the questionee. And, I'm gonna uh, question you, Alex. <laughs> it's gonna question me. Right. Um, so yeah, make sure you look out for the launch of this podcast. It's gonna be awesome. Lawrence, how did the podcast go? Are you happy with it? An absolute disaster. Oh, we'll have we to record it again. Record Alex, it when again. You, when you're switched on, <laughs> it's amazing. You guys are gonna have to wait to see what the hell we're talking about and listen to it when it goes live. Um, it's absolutely pissing it down. We missed a train. The next train is cancelled, and now we get, now we get an Uber um, to a very special evening. But fares are two point eight, two point eight times on Uber, but it's worth it in this weather. High demand. We're off, to, we're off to dinner with our mastermind group. So a mastermind meetup is where we have dinner with Lawrence for Fitzake who has run to the train station, Joel, Mr. Nutrivix, and uh, Ben, the naked professor, where we talk about very, very important topics that I can't tell you. <laughs> it's the most incredible. What is it, like quarterly? About, Roughly, quarterly, yeah. about two or three months we meet up and, and chat some real stuff. Hey, happy Wednesday. It was a late night last night. Didn't sleep very much. Another full day in London today, uh, which is rare for me to go to London so much and um, like two days in a row for full days. And um, to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. I know I said I was excited for getting back to routine and, and um, getting back to being at home, but I've got so much going on and I'm filling my days with cool stuff. However, um, 
for Crocfit. There's a lot of work going on for the launch of the update of the Crocfit app really soon. Um, so I feel really overwhelmed. I need some need a break in the next couple of days to catch up on stuff. Um, but something very very exciting this morning. So this morning I'm trying something very new. I am on my way to an acting workshop and you'll notice something with me. I'm a man of action and I've taken action so much in my life the past few years to make my dreams come true in fitness modeling, in crockfit, in business. But for some reason with acting, there's this fear, there's this lack of experience that stopped me from doing it. But I've realized in life that nothing is ever given to you. You've got to take action and go for it. So there's a couple of reasons why I'm telling you. One, to inspire you to go after the things that you know deep down that you want. Secondly, to hold myself accountable for doing this and trying to make it happen. And thirdly, maybe, maybe someone watching this is a major casting director and is ready to make me James Bond or ready to put me in the next Marvel Avengers film because I'm ready, I'm ready. Anyway, I'm shit scared. Let's see how it goes. Hello, yep, Alex speaking. What? They want me to play Captain Britain. Filming next week. <laughs> okay, it did actually go really well. It was fun. And um, I've got five more sessions in the next five Wednesdays. So I'll keep you all updated. Anyway, next part of the day, I've come all the way over to East London area. So I'm here back on set in the bright lights. Very grateful to be working with Kush Magazine. They're, uh, they're doing a little fitness section in which I'm doing a little workout for them. So make sure you look out for their next, their next uh, edition, a groom's edition, their first ever. Wow, that was nice and quick. Five body weight exercises, A and B positions, shot, workouts done. They were good, I was good, top form, which means I get to go home now although I am in like far east London. I've got to go all the way back to Waterloo and then back down into Surrey, but earlier than expected. Just realized I still got my makeup on. Hopefully nobody notices on the way home, but I do look good, I do look good. I had a spot, oh, you probably noticed in previous clips, I had a spot here, which, oh, you can still tell, but you can not really tell with the makeup on. So I'm gonna keep the makeup on for the rest of the day. <laughs> and look, it's the O2 arena. So you might have noticed today was actually a rest day. I didn't train, didn't go to the gym, it's been busy all over London. Um, but I am actually incredibly sore from Monday and Tuesday workouts, um, probably because I haven't done much bodybuilding for the past month, so going in and, and isolating an area that much uh, has really killed me. It's now like 8.30, so I'm just gonna do my stretches, gonna do a bit of yoga, stretching. I'm still very stiff and sore, and then I'll carry on back to training tomorrow. Pickle! Oh, tomorrow I've got to take her to the vets. Meow. Oh. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good morning, happy Thursday. Haven't been looking forward to this part of the week where we have to take Pickles to the vets. Oh. I love you, Pickle. For those of you that don't know, Pickles has lymphoma and lymphoma is this incurable cancer type thing that cats and dogs get um, we found out a few months ago well more than a few months ago um, so we've been treating her with chemotherapy and, and a long story short we're, we're still doing it she's happy in her day-to-day -day life she's cuddly everything's fine um, but she does have lumps so we're back here for a scan and, and another treatment and she hates being in the car. So we have to balance off like what's good for her and, and what is um, harmful to her day to day, but also trying to help her in the long term as well. Um, so I'm just dropping her off for the day and then later on, either me or, me or Sarah will pick her up. It is time for a haircut. Oh, oh, hello. Gone for a new style. <laughs> oh, don't touch that, that is sharp. That is a sharp new haircut. So I've gone for a new style, something, that is the shortest I've gone for years and years. Um, I'm looking forward to sh like growing into it and seeing how it feels. Um, get a nice tan on this face and body and um, gonna embrace this new style.
So it's gym time, gym fit two. Next session is session 45, and session 45 is a back day. See five ears go to the shoulder. Oh, <laughs> That's a good one. And then one of C1 tops goes around the heads. Wow, a lot of um, cracks today. <laughs> a lot of cracks. <laughs> this is a bit of a, a me day today. I've gone and had my hair cut. Jeremy, you like my hair? I love your hair. I think it's great. <laughs> Absolutely great. And now I'm here having a chiropractic session. Every about three weeks, I come and see Jeremy at West Chiropractic. And for, the, for those of you, I know I have a, a very international audience, but if you're in Surrey or London area, make sure you come to this area and um, check these guys out, West Chiropractic, because they saved my life with the amount of training I do. So I've popped back into central London. Man, I've been in London a lot this week, more, way more than normal. Um, but there's a friend in town who doesn't live in London. I had to meet him, so I'm back in. Um, he's like a branding genius. Um, so he gives me incredible advice for profit and everything else. So we're just on our way to that meeting now. Back home. Pickle is back home too. Sarah picked you up from the vets. Says you have a nice day. So, next bit of chemo. You seem happy back home. Look at this poor shaved neck. There's Baxter sitting on a suitcase. Not really sure why. And I've come home to the sexiest super babe cooking me dinner, chicken and veg. Wow, can you believe it is Friday already? Well, for you, time is passing in just a matter of minutes and days. But for me, Friday has come really quickly. Um, and it does feel like I am just trying to keep my head above water with admin and so many things. The last couple of days in London has meant that I haven't really kept up with so many things that, that needs to be done with business and, and email, etc. I think I need a personal assistant or something like that. Um, so get in touch if you are one and want to help me out. Um, and to prove this, I haven't even got my leggings on the right way. So these leggings are inside out. Which doesn't really help, so now I have to go in and get changed again. So, less haste, more time. Less haste, more time. Keep reminding myself of this. Anyway, today I'm at the gym again. What has happened this week is I've kept to a really good training routine. Today is leg day, anterior leg day, meaning squats and lots of quad focus stuff. You know what, I'm absolutely useless on the air bike. Don't know what it is, but I'm terrible at it. But we can either avoid the things that we're crap at or lean in towards it and make our weakness our strength. Happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> so, hanging out with an old college friend. I haven't seen Ben for like, what is it, nine years or something, we said. Nine years, man. Yeah, crazy. So we're filming some workouts for Instagram. Um, but he's the next big thing on Instagram and YouTube, so make sure you check him out. I'll leave all the details underneath. Um, and make sure you check out our channels for these workouts that we're filming now as well. Why are you so shy of my YouTube? <laughs> Nando's baby. I've done the maths and I haven't had a weekend free for six weeks. So here I am on Saturday catching up with loads of work. It's 12 o'clock now and I've fasted until now. England have just won there match in the Rugby World Cup and I'm about to make some protein porridge I'll show you. Well I found one of these in the cupboard so I'm using that made it with water scooped in one scoop of protein powder and I'm probably gonna add some almonds to it as well. Okay we're in Isha and every is it eight weeks? Oh every six weeks for probably five is it six or seven weeks uh, six or seven um, goes Sarah has tattoo removal and we're on the fifth or sixth time now So I'm not very good at vlogging. I'm filming like half my face half the time. This is the sixth time. Oh <laughs> I'm not very good at this information. We're on the fifth time big big tattoo on her back, but it is definitely fading um, We're gonna ask her some questions inside about how painful it is So here we are midway through today's session you can see it's a lovely big tattoo on his way 
fading out. Sarah, how are you? I'm not okay. <laughs> From one to ten, how much is this pain? And how much was getting the tattoo? I can't remember, but probably only about a five. <laughs> so much less. <laughs> she's got these little balls that she's squeezing. I must say that I'm glad it's the balls and not my hand because you almost broke my hand last time. <laughs> well done, you brave girl. <laughs> that looks so painful. It's ridiculous to get it. One more to go, and we'll see how it goes after that. <laughs> my head! Yeah, I know, she pushed the glasses so hard into her head that it dented her forehead. Okay, next meal, four eggs, avocado, pickle, not for you, that is mine. High protein, high fat, low carb, pre-workout meal before I do a little bit of work and then we're off to the gym. Late session today, we're still getting it done. Session 47 is a shoulder day. Let's go. Sunday morning, 78.6, started the weight at 79.9 on Monday. So not bad for one week, 1.3 kilograms down. Just got to show this consistency and keep the momentum going. I'm going to continue building muscle, but also getting rid of all of this and tightening up the belly. I'm currently using two different pre-workouts from Reflex Nutrition. This Energize and Hydrate, I've almost finished, so I'm gonna finish that one off. But I also love this Muscle Bomb as well. Make sure you guys are using my code PTCROP50 for 40% for off Reflex if you need. Then I pop these uh, four Thermofusions as well, and then <laughs> I'm definitely up for a massive workout if I have a pre-workout and Thermofusion. So that is one week training a very very good week of training um, and it all starts again tomorrow exactly the same routine for a second week coming to the end of my gym fit 2 training program gonna have a really good routine next week and then the following week I'm at a fitness retreat in Ibiza where I'm not gonna be able to do my crop fit training so I'm gonna really enjoy next week you know the main thing that's gone through my mind this week is just to focus on each day that you're working on because when you know that there's a big task ahead or a big journey ahead, like for me, I'm really trying to get my body shape back. And I look at photos back from when I was in incredible shape, being like super, super lean. But the past month I've had where I've had to focus on performance and strength, I've eaten loads. Um, and yeah, I'm not very lean, but I really want to get lean again whilst also maintaining muscle. And the journey is tough. And when you look at each individual day, then you just look at each individual day without thinking, how long it's taking and that's all you can do because it's so easy to get disheartened when you think about how many steps ahead there are just focus on the step you're on and getting through each day with the small individual tasks the training the nutrition the good quality sleep all of this every single day and then before you know it you've come a long way without even realizing anyway i'm about to drive now so i'll put the camera down okay so quick turnaround we're in ealing and <laughs> look in this car park, there's a Bugatti. Look at that bad boy. Oh, oh, is that your car? Is that your car? Okay, show me the keys. Prove it. <laughs> they did. They cooked my feta, avocado, poached eggs and toast. Bacon for you. Full English. <laughs> okay, that's it. Another week complete. Sunday night, chilling on the sofa with the cats and the little family is Baxter and Sarah. Um, another week of a massive to do list of things that and didn't achieve, but trying to keep my head above water and still cracking through. Looking forward to another big, big week ahead. We are now watching Spaceballs. Not sure if you've ever seen it. It's an old, old film, but very funny. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.